What is going on guys? Welcome back. Comments here for you. I want to thank Ian over at Madden School. I'll put a link to their channel down in the comments section. So many of you have sent me this video and I appreciate the fact that they let me use it. You know, basically he comes out and says this is all Madden competitive mode, untouched sliders, and that just because you don't know how something is done in terms of really manipulating the game doesn't mean it isn't impossible. And if you haven't seen this, it basically tells me a lot of things I already knew. Madden is a very animation-dependent and driven game, and for those that will say well, it's a lower skill level, I don't know that I necessarily believe that, because from what I've seen in Madden, lower skill levels have kind of that scenario there where tackles just don't get made. I see a lot of tackle attempts where just the game has broken tackles, and I don't really know what to make of this entirely other than the fact that basically he's found a way to manipulate this game and essentially have a player unsackable. Now, I realize a lot of you are going to say, well, this is all X-Factor quarterback. For that, I will hold off till the end of the video and show you that it's not, and he's able to replicate this with other players. We'll get to that in just a moment. But a lot of the legacy issues here in terms of how defenders pursue, how animations dictate the end of plays. I mean, there's a player that just gets ran over. This is J.J. Watt here. I'll slow this down because as a Colts fan, I mean, I could never get enough of this. Jackson just flattens J.J. Watt here. And I don't care what skill level we're on. I don't care what mode we're on, what sliders we have. There's just some things that should not happen. So you're going to take a look at a final evasion here of really running away from just about five different Texans. This is the end, though. This is Justin Tucker, the kicker doing the same exact thing. So you really can't sit there and say this is X-Factor specific. It really more or less just seems like they found something in the game this year that allows them to execute things the way they haven't in the past. That is a tackle animation that got broken out of, which can happen on any skill level for that matter. And then obviously it's just a continuation of what you saw with Jackson. So Really, to me, I think we've seen in just a number of days, Madden has a lot of work to do. EA has got to get some patches together, formulate a game plan for making this game better, because right now, we're just not seeing a game that's worthy of a 20 release. I'm sorry. Love to know you guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. I will be back very shortly with more commentary. 